This video is about uh, issue normally user face about Steam and the download speed and a lot of users complain that their Steam download speed is getting slow or uh, it was always slow for them. So Steam measures its downloads in multiple of bytes per second instead of bits per second. A network provider mostly uses bits per second as a measure, or measure to advertise the internet connection. A byte is a group of 8 bits. So if you feel your Steam download speed is slow, you should first compare your Steam download speed with your network download on the same scale. For example, if you're getting 768 kilobytes per second on your Steam client, this means your network speed is 6144 kilobits per second. In other words, 6 megabits per second. Many people get confused with confused and you know they treat both measures as the same. We have listed a number of conversations, so con conversions, uh, so you can understand much better. So, as shown on the screen, uh, if you have three megabits per second of ISP internet speed, the maximum stream download speed that you can get is 384 kilobytes per second. And rest of the table uh, for your reference. So, however, if you feel that there is a discrepancy in the speed and your Steam client isn't downloading at the speed it should, you can follow the steps we are going to show you in this video. Um, starting from the very first solution is, it is about disconnecting all other connected devices from your network. So, if you're using a Wi-Fi router for internet connection and there are other devices or people connected to it, you will not obtain maximum speed for your download. So there's a common misconception that people get more speed if they connect earlier. The speed depends on a number of different factors. So let's list down all the factors on the screen. First one is distance from your access point. The PC or devices which are more near to the access point will get a better signal and better latency as compared to the ones further away. If you have your computer far away from the access point, it is advised that you move closer to it. Second is protocol. All packets are graded by routers themselves on the ground of protocol. Suppose you are watching a video while your friend is doing a video call. By default, his packets will get more priority as voice over IP is a more demanding protocol as compared to HTTP. It requires less ping and greater bandwidth. This is predefined in most of the routers. What you can do is ask the people who use your Wi-Fi to avoid these activities. Third is torrents. If a torrent is running on your network, there is no way you will get a proper connection because it sucks your bandwidth. Fourth, matter is, fourth factor is ge geographical factor. The further away you are from your host server, the less good connection there will be. So try changing your download region uh, we are going to show in later stages on this video. Our second solution is to download, is to change your download location. One of the basic fixes include changing the download region. The Steam content system is divided into different regions. The client automatically defect, detects your region through your network and set it as default. Sometimes servers in a specific region may be overloaded or may be going through a hardware failure. So a ch changing the download region may solve your download speed issue. So let's open Steam. And from Steam menu, let's go to settings. In settings, let's go to download. And in download, let's navigate to download region. So select region which is closest to you other than what you have already selected in your Steam region. Save these changes and you might be prompted to restart your Steam client. Click on Restart Steam and let it restart the Steam client. So once your Steam gets back, see if you are getting any better speed now. Our third solution is to clear your download cache. And to download the cache, and to, and to clear the download cache, Let's go to Steam menu and click on settings. Go to downloads. 
and then clear download cache. Once you are prompted with this, click on OK. Afterwards, restart Steam and Steam will ask you to re-enter your credentials. So make sure that you have access to your credentials. After logging in, uh, Steam will hopefully reach the optimal speed. If this also doesn't work, we have fourth solution to check your antivirus. Most antivirus scans the files that you download to ensure that no malware is downloaded. They not, they not only make your PC slower, they also affect your download speed significantly. It is advised to list Steam in the exception list so the antivirus can ignore Steam and its actions. And um, you, can, you can find an article and other videos on this channel to add an exception in the antivirus. Uh, we can discuss to add an exception if you're running Windows Defender. So let's close Steam, click on Windows button, and type Windows Defender. Now click on Windows Defender and Security Center. Click on Virus and Threat Protection. Now, once you are here, you will have to go Virus and Threat Protection Settings. In Exclusions, click on Add or Remove Exclusion and here click on Add Exclusion. We can select a folder from here. And from here, just exclude Steam's directory and select Steam. Click on Yes if you get a USB prompt. Now restart your computer and see uh, if your speed is any better. The next solution that we have is to change download limit. Right click on your Steam and then click on Run as Administrator and click on Yes if you are get getting any USB prompt. Once done, on the left top corner select steam and then click on settings go to downloads and then limit your downloads and go to limit your downloads too and then select go to downloads and in limit bandwidth to option choose any decent uh, download speed and then continue downloading uh, your game next solution is to refresh steam now let's close Steam, press Windows and R key, the default location for Steam is C program files x86 and Steam folder so we are going to type that in and click on OK. From here just Select Steam apps, Steam apps folder and Steam.exe, which is an application. So this one is an application, and the other selected one is a folder. Other than these, delete all of the directory items. So let's say we press Control A to select all. We exclude Steam apps, and we also exclude Steam.exe. You delete all other files except these two and then restart your Steam client. Now Steam will download all the missing files and folders and launch when it's ready. It is advised that you restart your computer before launching Steam again with run as administrator option. Uh, this should refresh your Steam and it should help you in uh, fixing your download speed issue. We hope this video will be helpful for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel.